now if my vi is 0 so gm into vgs equals to 0 that means vgs the voltage vgs can we predict no so what that what we can do is can write io plus id equals to minus of io plus id into gm into rs that is we can substitute equation 2 in equation 1 so we can get lhs you have io plus id and instead of gm vgs can write io plus id gm into rs now this can be written as minus gm io into rs minus gm id into rs now taking io common and id common can write io 1 plus gm into rs equals to minus gm id into rs minus id which can be written as minus of id 1 plus gm into rs when you look on both the sides you have 1 plus gm rs 1 plus gm rs cancelled so you are left with io equals to minus of id so what you got io as minus id now when io is minus id that means look at the kcl point current flowing towards id io and gm vgs what we have seen io plus id is gm vgs when this equation will be satisfied when this gm vgs is zero then only we can get io is equal to minus id so what this implies is gm into vgs is zero now gm into vgs is zero what we can say the current flowing through this is zero so we are left with only a single output resistance rd therefore vo is nothing but minus id into rd which is nothing but minus of minus io into rd so i can write vo is io into rd that is vo by io which is nothing but the output resistance is nothing but rd capital rd this is when we are not considering the value of small ro now considering the value of small ro so in the question problem they have given the value of capital rd as zo will be rd which is 3.3 kilo ohms this is without small rd now considering small rd or small ro you can see the derivation now here you can see the rd resistance is included between the drain and source point always remember now how we write zo as zo we write as vo upon io for vi to be zero volt now vo we can refine io in terms of id so for that if we get kcl at the drain point kcl at drain point what you can say io plus id this is the current io current flowing through rd is id both are flowing towards the drain current i and gm vgs are flowing away from see this current is i dash so you can say i dash plus gm vgs are flowing away from the drain so say equation one i can reframe the above equation as io equals to gm vgs plus id id will be negative in this case plus i dash so this can be the equation now voltage across the drain resistance vrd can be written as vo plus vgs now i dash is the current through this resistance rd i dash is the current through resistance small rd so i can write i dash as voltage across the resistance rd upon the resistance rd now we have found the equation for vrd so i dash i can write it as vo plus vgs upon rd now this equation say 2 if i am substituting in 3 what i will get i will get io equals to gm vgs plus i dash is vo plus vgs upon rd minus id suppose say equation number 4 now I can write VO as minus ID into RD. How? You have resistance RD. You have plus minus VO. Current flowing ID is in the above direction. So we are going in the opposite direction. So I can write VO as minus ID into RD. Equation number 5. So if I am substituting 
5 in 4 what I will get I O equals to G M V G S plus V G S by R D I am separating this part then V O can be written as minus I D R D upon small R D and the last minus I D as it is so I have got this equation from this I can write I O as taking V G S common from these two I can write G M plus 1 upon R D into V G S minus I D R D upon small R D minus I D calling this as equation number 6.